Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a review on the Urban Butterfly Electric Makeup Brush Cleaner and a Spinner. So I've been seeing lately on Facebook, Instagram, like this new item that you can use to clean your brushes. So I went ahead and bought that. And then I actually went ahead and bought this um, cleanser for your brushes and it's called an it's called Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. So we're going to use this spinner thing. And I haven't even opened it. I literally just got it today from Amazon. And I'm going to go ahead and open it and then show you guys. Okay, be right back. So this is what it looks like. So Urban Butterfly Cordless Makeup Brush Cleaner Spins and Dries Makeup Brush. Brushes clean in seconds. Well, that's interesting. Um, it comes with... um Oh! steps of how to clean your brushes the inserts this is what it says right here it says the urban butterfly makeup brush cleaner cleans and dries makeup brushes in no time the brush cleaner device will save you time and effort centrifugal spin technology and deep cleaning ridges the expert cleans and dries your brushes in no time at all brushes are ready to use immediately after brushes after removing Handle. So first things first things first. Oh, this. I don't think it's charged. Do I have to charge it? I think I need batteries. So you guys can see this part up here on top of the bowl is actually an extra piece that comes with the urban butterfly. Comes with bowl and a stand and the top pieces with plastic ones. They are actually the parts that go into the butterfly which is what makes it work and then that's the butterfly spinner with one of the inserts inside of it okay so i did go ahead and get the batteries you do need triple a's which i do have so i'll just go ahead and show you that real quick probably you guys don't care about so show you anyway um these are the ones i mean amazon literally has their own batteries because why freaking not and i have batteries. i literally have a box of batteries because of Mateo's toys and he has tons of toys and all of those toys need batteries. So guess who has tons and tons and tons of batteries? Me! I have tons of batteries. But anyway, getting back to the review, put batteries in this, read the instructions, kind of just kind of saw the part where it said I needed batteries. I didn't really care for anything else. Um, let's go ahead and turn this around. It comes with this little stand to dry your brushes, which is kind of nice. So throw that over there. So it seems like it's working now. God, I wanted to show you the trash I just threw on the floor, but apparently it doesn't fucking work that way. Sorry for the bad, sorry for the bad language. Anyway, that's the trash I just threw on the floor. And that's what I literally wanted to show you guys with the stupid camera was being done. Okay, so here comes the best part. Oh shoot, this is actually really big. We got this right here. Okay, so I got the water and now it's time to open this one. Um, we'll see how that goes with this. And honestly, for the water, this is my first time doing this. I somewhat read the instructions you did is because I'm assuming it's gonna like you know squirt all over the place I literally just filled it up to the actual line it literally says max I literally filled it over I'm such a rebel such a rebel hopefully it doesn't freaking spill all over myself anyway so I'm gonna open this again So I decided, where is it, and I'm going to use this Morphe foundation brush, I mean not currently but I did clean it before actually, with the exact same product. Which... That's that. So now we have to find the size for this brush. So let's see, I believe it would be, nope not that one, that's too big. This one? No, that's too small. I believe it would be this one. Nope, that's too small. So I... Yes, it's this one. stuff it and smush it in there now we're gonna go ahead and place this in here again so like what happens if this jabs like you're screwed so let's just see oh oh shit oh shit oh look at that look at that and you guys should have literally seen my expression when i saw that shit do that i was like Ooh. it's literally the coolest thing and i can literally smell the phone the phone the foundation it smells 
so gross. Like it smells so disgusting. Like you have no idea how much debris and like bacteria is in here. You know, swirl the crap out of it with this. Ew, you can just start seeing the water just changing color. Ew! That is so gross! Of the pan, which is why it's like not going fast, but literally, woo! <laughs> almost had an accident go there. God, I'm gonna hold this tighter. Anyway, it literally is twirling, it's literally shaking my hand, and it's literally like. So it's all wet, so we'll just, you know, let it dry in there so we're not making a mess. Whew. Literally, my life. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'll make a review, I'll make a review, because I'm cool. Yeah, like, while well, water's splashing all over my face. I should probably hold it in here. So while that finished cooking, whatever you want to call it, prepping, I am just gonna hold it, but it's literally tiring. I don't know if I would recommend holding this thing. I mean, I don't think you can do anything unless you make a weird contraption to hold it. But anyway, it's literally shaking my hand. So I am gonna change the water on that and then start over. So let's see how that goes. is still pretty dirty and I put more soap on this one so it's more flat or top but yeah it's literally still super dirty um, I mean it looks like it's pretty clean it pretty well I mean I'm not gonna complain everything even my like fat in my arm. Brushes. <laughs> the first time, you know, like with that little pad thing, it doesn't really clean them that good. I mean, I guess I would recommend this if you want to sit here and do all that work forever. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do all my brushes right now because I have to go to work soon, but I will try to get this brush done and see how many times it takes to get it clean and I'll tell you guys afterwards anyway um I'll get you get back to you guys in a little bit I can literally change the water and come back I can come back like that's like super freaking convenient Sorry, like the lighting here is terrible. So this is at the bathroom again. It does look lighter. Okay, so this is the sixth one. After the water, I added more soap because it didn't look like it was um putting any results in but once I put on that soap it did start to get darker and all this outside part looks feels so soft but this inside part is still a little like weird so I mean I'm gonna let it dry I guess for a minute and like this is so cool it looks like a freaking pancake guys smash it smells really good but actually this time it doesn't feel here it wasn't as much now I guess so I don't know if maybe like I have to buy like a conditioner. It sounds kind of stupid, but maybe like a brush conditioner so it's not so hard. I mean, is there such a thing as a conditioner for brushes? If you guys do know, just put it down below because I don't know. I mean, it's it feels good. I mean, should I move on to the next one? Probably. Okay. So, it just died. It died! Uh-huh. The thing. Oh. Okay, I know I got 20 batteries, but it's so disappointing because one brush, it died. 
Does that mean that I'm gonna use two batteries per brush? Seriously? Oh hell no. stuff I'm like so over it the soap I think I used half this bottle all these the extra pieces little sand so I put that right there like that if I want to put those like that but I don't think I'm gonna be um keeping the stand anywhere anytime soon I might just if you guys can see me um then I keep them in here now that they're all clean and um i'll be putting everything back in the box just because i don't have any room to keep it at so i was telling you guys that um the brushes are finished they're actually really soft i can show them to you guys i mean they're really clean you can definitely tell the foundation brush didn't get fully cleaned but i think that's because the foundation brush you know you put tons of foundation on it and it takes a lot of washes, so I'll probably have to rewash that maybe like three or four more times. The outside of it is clean, but the inside is not as much as clean as it should be. Um, I did notice on, on the outside of the foundation brush, I'll show you guys. You can actually see that it is a lot cleaner. So like right here, you could see before like foundation lines and like they're a lot lighter now. So they're not as dark as they used to be. So right there. But it's a lot cleaner. Definitely, I would recommend this product for anyone else to use it. The only thing is, if you get tired of holding items in your hands, it does get very frustrating because, at least for myself, I have carpal tunnel, so holding even this camera for a long period of time in this hand hurts or like it bothers me or I get it's tired. Um, so that's the only thing. If you have carpal tunnel, it might be a pain. Um, if you suffer from pain in your hands, that also might be a pain. Um, only thing that sucks is that it is batteries, that you have to use it with the batteries. Triple A batteries, and that kind of sucks because I went through six batteries, as I said before. And that's yeah. quite a bit of batteries. Yes? Yeah. Hello? And I uh, use quite a bit of batteries, but that's okay. I mean, I have the batteries, so I don't mind. If you do not want to use batteries, I would not recommend this product. I would recommend that you look for a wireless one. I didn't search a lot, so that was my fault. But uh, you guys can go ahead and search for something else. I mean, I did only pay about $24 for this product about. So, I mean, it was a bit on the cheaper end. I'm sure if I would have spent about $20 more and bought one that was like $40, it wouldn't have been as I guess it wasn't cheaply made it was pretty good it wouldn't have been as um how would I say it wouldn't have been as much as a problem I guess the whole battery thing but other than that it was good I mean out of a 10 I think I would recommend it maybe like a 7 because I know that there's better products out there that you guys can try other than that one um, I hope my review helped you or like even like not my review, but like my vlog or whatever you guys want to call it on um, this whole, um, the, uh, the urban butterfly spinner cleaner, whatever helps you guys see like what it can do. And if you want to use it, if you saw my struggles and don't want to struggle like I did or saw things that you didn't like about it, uh, you can go buy something else. Uh, and that's the end of my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it.